and now you're going to be getting to put that back on the road. Looking forward to putting it on the road. I mean, like the the thing is, we've been uh, rehearsing a lot for this upcoming tour because, um, as uh, you can imagine, we've sort of like had our old songs for 22 years. We know them really, really well. We know them inside out, and um, they were to a certain standard of like performing live. You can do it. It's muscle memory. Um, with the new ones, we wanted it to sort of like have a vitality. Um, and but we wanted it to be really well rehearsed so it could stand up with the other stuff so we're feeling good about um, where we're at in regards to sort of like the, the whole album and how it's going to integrate in with the old stuff and that um, but really once you get up on stage as you would know you just sort of um, all, all the preparation stuff goes out the window and all hell can break loose and the thing about Tumbleweed is we've always been a little bit shambolic and a little bit messy and a bit um, just scattered. We have the um, like bullet points in a way um, firmly lodged in there and it's just a matter of sort of like moving around it and that's what I'm really looking forward to getting out there. Also really looking forward to seeing how those People have been coming for years and years and years. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they think. Yeah. Um, you know, you mentioned it before, but one thing that has changed in between, uh, in between the before and now of the band is, uh, is the technology side of things and being able to connect with your fans. Did that take a little bit of getting used to in those when you first kind of got back on the stage at, the, with, at Home Bake and post that? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Um, suppose like we're pretty old school people more so in the past um i um you know we're all pretty reluctant to even get mobile phones when they came out um and uh but you know i suppose i'm into technology a little bit more than the other guys in the band um i enjoy it as a tool um, as a as a way of communicating, it's fantastic. Um, actually, sort of having um, you know social media and stuff like that, uh, a way of sort of just keeping up to date with what people are thinking about, and uh, sort of having your finger on the pulse of sort of um, the mass consciousness. I like. Um, I really like that. And I, I like the way sort of like we can keep people up to date with what we're doing. So just even just as a band forum, you know, between band and sort of fans. <coughs> it's fantastic. I love it. As far as technology in actually making music, um, it's really interesting. You, I like technology. I like, I like it as a tool. And I like uh, innovation. But... It can also be a double-edged sword because with technology become, you get choice and with choice and, and that, that many choices um, you can sort of get trapped in a cycle that isn't using, that it is, sort of forgets why you're creating in the first place which is to sort of like, you, you know, there's a catalyst to actually express something and whether it's a story, an idea, a feeling, an emotion, an experience. Um, and whether you're conveying that through um, any sort of form of art, especially sound, um, sometimes technology can sort of get in the way of delivering that message effectively, I think. But then again, it can also be used as an amazing tool. Like if you're someone like Gaudier or... Um, you, you know, Trent Reznor, who actually uses um, Pro Tools as a, as a means of uh, being innovative and trying new things. I like that. I'm a big fan of that. I just, I'm just not a big fan of um, using it to be slack, you know, or um, using stuff for the sake of it. Like, I mean, I, I, I think it's amazing technology and... Uh, but yeah, it's, it's all just a tool for the human brain to sort of like express. So where do you go from here after, after you head on the road? What's next for Tumbleweed? Um, I don't know. We've got this tour coming up. Um, we'll, we'll do it as long. I mean, the thing is, it's really hard to say. I mean, we've been together 25 years now. It's, it's more than just a band. It's who we are. Um, we started when we were 17 years old. We tried to escape it. We tried to sort of 
burn it to the ground and walk away from it and yet we're back doing it. I don't see it going anywhere um, else but at the same time we've also learned to exist outside it so it's not something that we need, it's not our career, um, it's our creative outlet at the moment. We've got this record coming out, we've got a tour coming up playing with some great bands, a German band called Kadavar, a Swedish band called Blues Pills and another one that I'm not allowed to announce yet for the East Coast, which will be announced next week. It's going to be awesome. So really looking forward to the, um, to the tour. After that, I don't know, we're up for stuff. I mean, it's a, you know, this, this talk was just doing a, a bunch of shows, uh, a, a summer sort of um, regional beach tour, which would be pretty cool. Um, we'll just see what, what uh, gets thrown at us, I guess. Would you head back overseas? Love to head back overseas, yeah. I've done a lot of travel in between um, Tumbleweed and, and now and coming back to Tumbleweed and uh, seen a lot of the world. And when I was travelling around, I, I really did sort of think, um, yeah, I'd just love to play here. You know, I'd go and see bands overseas and I just thought, yeah, it'd be really great that we'd, we really didn't get much of an opportunity to uh, really play anywhere too exotic. I'd like to like play some exotic places like, you know, I'd like to like, I'd like to try the Middle East and I'd like to go to Cambodia and places like that and just see how it goes. Friends of ours played Indonesia um, quite recently and it, it was a huge metal fest, guys from King Parrot and they loved it. So yeah, I'm into, I'm into that. Now you see bands like Parkway Drive playing South America and stuff like that and really unusual. And Tame Impala, their world tour was unbelievable. Going to some really weird places. We only really did um, England, Wales and, and America first time around. Um, so yeah, I'd be keen for it, just for the experience. <laughs>